My name is Avery here at Gear 30. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about paddle boards. I'm going to show you all everything that is in this paddle board bag. Right, so, first, we have the NRS pump. This is the big boy pump. This thing is awesome. We've got the hose that connects to the pump and the paddle board. We've got a fin that goes to the back of the paddle board. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes to kind of accommodate for different needs. And then we've got a leash. Not always necessary, but it's good to have. So almost every board should come with this little tool um, for NRS pumps or for NRS boards. This will unscrew and you can take this off, kind of just unscrew it. Um, gunk tends to get up there, sand, all sorts of stuff. Um, seals tend to break, but this comes off really easy. Allows you to change any of these seals, clean this out a little bit, and good, good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and pump up the board. There's two ends to this little hose. One end has a couple notches on it, and that goes into this end of the pump. And then the other side has some threads, which go right into the board. When you're blowing it up, you wanna make sure that this little valve, this red valve, is up. And it's super easy to do it up. You just push and twist, and that's down. And then push and twist, and that's up. And we wanna make sure it's up for when we are inflating it, or else all the air is gonna come out when we take it off. So, just toss this in here. And we're gonna go ahead and twist it into place. And you start pumping away. So these NRS Super 2 pumps are pretty neat because once you kind of get pressure built up in this big chamber, it gets pretty hard to push down. We're at about eight PSI right now, uh, but we ideally want it between 10 and 15. We can switch this little tab right here over to the pressure riser and it's a little bit thinner and it's just so much easier. And we can start raising that pressure up. All right, next we're gonna talk about the different fin shapes that we have. So we've got a big, medium, and small. The big one's gonna be great for big open water when you need to just go straight. And um, the medium size will be great for deeper rivers. And then the small one is gonna be for some shallow rivers versus the lake. It's gonna be able to stay straighter for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna show you how to attach these. And they're all the same system. Um, so I'm just gonna do one and it'll all be the same for everyone. Make sure that the rounded side is going to the front of the paddleboard and this back end is going to go towards the back. We'll just slide it in. You see we have this little clip right here that goes right in between the fin and the plate. And boom, it's locked in. You're good to go. Try not to rest the board on the fin because it will possibly break. Just leave the board upside down or on its side and you're good to go. So this is 303. Um, it's basically just a UV protectant that protects against cracking, keeps dirt and dirt, dirt and dust off of the board. Um, but basically we spray this on really like every two weeks um, for our rental boards. For If you own a board, maybe once a month would be fine. Um, and then definitely want to spray this on before you store them for the winter. Um, but basically all we're going to do is spray it onto the cloth, get it a little wet. Then we come on to the final and we just start kind of wiping it down um, and kind of leaves a little bit of a greasy greasy uh, coat to it but this will keep it looking new all right so once you return to the shore for the day and you're all done with the board we're going to show you how to deflate it it can be a bit of a process and a little bit confusing but we'll show you the best way we do it we also do ask if you rent from us that you hose them down, wipe them down if they do get really sandy or muddy, especially towards the end of the season. Um, we do charge a cleaning fee if it is excessively dirty, um, so please take care of the boards and just hose them down when you're done. So we'll come up to this valve right here and we will unscrew it. And it's going to have a loud whoosh, but we're going to push it down and twist to the left. Um, so push. I'll usually let it sit for maybe five minutes um, just to kind of naturally get all the air out so I'm not trying to roll it up with a bunch of air in it. Um, get all that air out. 
So we'll leave it here for about five minutes and we'll be back to roll it up. Okay, so it's been sitting for about five minutes. Now we're gonna start rolling it up. We typically start from the back because the valve is up at the front. As we roll it up, all the air is gonna kind of push towards the front. So sometimes it can be easier once you have all the air out to go ahead and flip that latch back up so no air comes back in or else it will just keep filling up with air. Go ahead. I like to hold the bag like this and slide it into the bag. And we do have these straps that kind of just hold it in place, keep it from sliding around. So I'll clip these. We'll take our pump and hose. Slide it into the side. That doesn't have the pocket. Right here. The hose right on top. We'll zip it up. And then don't forget the leash and your fin. And this goes just right in the side pocket. You can just put it in the main bag, but the side pocket is usually where we keep them when boards go out. Don't throw the bag onto the front side of the, um, the bag because that pump is right here. Pumps are pretty fragile, not fragile, but they're plastic. So if it does take a lot of force, it can break it. And then you'll have to pay for a new pump, which is never fun. Um, it does have some backpack straps right here, which make it super easy to carry. So just set it down and lay it down nice and gently when you're done or when you're about to blow it up. So go ahead and get out. See you out there.